Doing a little show and tell for you guys this evening. Gonna show you guys some vehicles that have not been seen on the channel before or vehicles that just need some attention. <laughs> uh, starting off guys, the RC four wheel drive, Trail Finder 2, Mojave 2 truck kit. Uh, my original vehicle when I started the channel. So I started the channel about three years ago and that is the vehicle that I started the channel with. Definitely not new, new to RCs, that is not my first RC by any means. I've uh, been into RC since right around 1978, 1979, somewhere in that area, real long time. Uh, built a lot of Tamiya cars, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Pretty much had RCs my entire life. Uh, nevertheless, guys, got the Trail Finder when I started up my channel. Um, so it is pretty much the oldest vehicle uh, on my channel, per se. Uh, the truck's built to the hilt, uh, monster TF2, sitting way up in the air, rolling on some Proline 2.2 Super Swamper TSL SX tires, and sitting on some Boom Racing 2.2 uh, aluminum wheels. Truck has several suspension lifts on it, RC four-wheel drive, steel drive shafts, a lot of steel parts on this truck, bumpers, uh, rock sliders, the whole nine yards, a lot of suspension lifts on this truck, uh, Warren 8274 winch on the front, steel bumper on the front. Um, I had installed some boom racing axles on this truck last year, guys, and I'm not too happy with them. There's just a lot of slop in these axles, a lot of rolling gear slop there, so not very happy with these axles. They will be coming off ASAP. Uh, but right here is the TerraFlex revolver that I broke. Right there. Snap that guy right off from the mount. And it was mounted right in that little spot right there. So that is the only thing that's really holding this truck back. You need to get another TerraFlex revolver, and then we can get this guy back out on the trail. All right, moving on from the TF2. Next vehicle that needs some quality time <laughs> is the WL Toys uh, 10428A. Uh, so this vehicle here, guys, I did a whole bunch of work to this vehicle. It is pretty much more of a Terra than it is actually WL Toys. All the plastic frame, chassis, suspension is all WL Toys. Uh, gearboxes themselves are WL Toys. But all the innards are all Vatera heavy duty, twin hammers, uh, steel gears, differentials, the whole nine yards, MIP steel drive shaft. Uh, so I have made this truck, uh, gutted out all the stock WL Toys electronics, put in my own stuff, made the truck amphibious, uh, packed it full of foam, put these monster paddle tires on it with a brushed motor, was able to paddle down rivers and still go rock crawling with it. Wasn't happy with that, wanted to make it hydroplane water, <laughs> so I put in a Traxxas Valenian VXL3S brushless system in there. Uh, took several trials and, uh, you know, some trial and errors to get it to hydroplane water. Did eventually get it to hydroplane water, um, and then shortly after that, I burned out the ESC on the truck. Haven't gotten around to replacing the ESC, <laughs> so uh, the truck's been down ever since then, guys. I need to get a new ESC for this guy. So this thing was running on that Traxxas VXL3S Valenian system and smoked out the ESC. So uh, she is down for the moment until we get a new ESC for it. Uh, but it is in good working order. Everything works great. Gears are all perfect on it. Um, no drivetrain issues whatsoever. Just need to get a new ESC. All right, the second truck in need of repair, or the third truck in need of repair. <laughs> Another WL Toys. Uh, this is the WL Toys 10428 Wrangler, the one that we had the Wrangler body on. Uh, not my truck originally, everyone. This truck belonged to a friend of mine. Um, he wanted to put the Wrangler body on it. This was all his idea. Um, he painted the body on it. I trimmed out the plastic. That's basically all I did, and I helped him get the body mounted onto the truck initially. Um, shortly after I moved up north, or shortly before I moved up north, I had actually bought this truck off of my friend, so it became mine, <laughs> and uh, ended up blowing out the transmission gears on it last summer out on the, uh, out on the adventure course. Uh, not necessarily... You know, I'm not really going to take any responsibility for blowing out those gears, everyone. I drove this truck pretty easy. Um, did a lot of videos with the truck, actually, in the Wrangler form. Uh, so it has been seen quite a bit on the channel. Uh, but my friend, who used to own it before me, uh, liked to take part in the adult beverages. <laughs> and he liked to uh, drink and drive, uh, more or less, when he was out driving this truck. So a lot of gear damage had occurred uh, when it was in his possession. Uh, but since I've had it, I took that Wrangler body off of it installed our regular WL Toys body back on it just to save some weight on the vehicle, make it a little bit easier on the whole drivetrain. Uh, but nevertheless, blew out the transmission gears last year out on the adventure course and need to get a new set of gears for it. So this thing will be getting a full set of Vatera gears uh, here before long. Uh, our next vehicle, WL Toys 18628. That's a 18628. 
little POS 6x6 motor on axle, little electric motors on all the axles. Uh, no ball bearings whatsoever in this vehicle. Uh, my brother had actually picked up this vehicle, um, ordered it from Wish, I believe, and I think he paid around $30 for it. And that's about all she was worth. <laughs> it didn't really last very long. Uh, the motor on axles, uh, real small motor, real cheap setup. Um, so right now, half of the axles don't even drive, so um, it only lasted for a couple days. I did get some video on it, but it was when my SD card went bad, so uh, that was some of the video footage that we had actually lost. But little W O Toys 18628, never been seen on the channel. Uh, like I said, didn't really last long enough to actually get some good video on it. <laughs> I had the unboxing video on it. We did a run video on it, took it out to the track actually, and ran around the adventure course with it. And uh, it made it around the course, uh, not completely around the course. Um, some of the stuff hung it up pretty good, like the uh, brick bridge and the and the uh, teeter totter and whatnot. But it it did okay. Um, nevertheless, didn't last very long after that. Maybe two or three batteries before we started experiencing a lot of axle issues with the motors not driving the axles. So uh, kind of a POS, and uh, pretty probably going to be the first and last time that you see this truck on the channel. All right, guys, a boat. Our next vehicle is a boat. This is a uh, Robbie or Roby, Robbie White Rocket. Uh, I've had this boat for a long time, everyone. This is one of my original vehicles from when I was a kid. Um, I think I bought this boat when I was right around 11 or 12 years old uh, from a local hobby store. Rode my bicycle up to the hobby store to buy it. Uh, it was a pretty fun little boat back in the day. It has an RS380 motor in it. This is where you would mount your servo, your battery across here. Your steering servo back here, receiver spots, blah, 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 all kinds of different mounting areas through here. Maybe the battery goes across here. I don't know. It's been a long time. Uh, but we still have this boat. It still floats. It will work if you put a motor in it. Uh, but I was thinking about converting this thing to a jet drive. So that may be a future project. Might convert this thing over to a jet drive. And that is the Robbie White Rocket. Super old school boat. Like I said, it's been around for a long, long time. Since I was about, uh, you know, like I said, in between 11 and 13 years old, probably somewhere in that area, uh, when I got this boat, really can't remember, but it was a real long time ago, <laughs> and it's uh, it's still around, so we'll get to working on this thing at some point in time or another. And moving on to our next truck, everyone, this is a Tamiya Midnight Pumpkin, old school Midnight Pumpkin, not anything that's been purchased recently. This is an originally manufactured Midnight Pumpkin uh, from way back in the day probably from one of the first runs. Uh, this vehicle actually belongs to my sister-in-law. This is her truck. I remember when she built this way back in the day. Um, she's owned it for a very long time. It does have oil-filled shocks on it, all four corners. Still running off of a uh, NICAD battery. I believe it has a Novak Rooster speed controller in here, ESC in here. Not too sure what kind of motor she's running in it. Uh, tires are definitely seen somewhere and are show, starting to show their age, uh, definitely getting a little bit a little bit hard, a little bit stiff on the compound there. Um, like I said, they're definitely getting old, starting to get dry rotted a little bit. But this is the old original to me, a Midnight Pumpkin from way back in the day. Um, like I said, this one hasn't been shown on the channel. Uh, probably convert this thing over to LiPo uh, here eventually. So as soon as we can convert it over to LiPo, you'll probably start seeing this thing every once in a while on our channel. So. Once again, there you go, old school Midnight Pumpkin. Uh, next vehicle, the Tamiya Hornet, <laughs> or the Super Hornet. Alrighty guys and gals, you have seen this car before. I showed this just before I moved. Old Hornet that my friend had donated to my channel. Original Hornet from way back in the day. Still has the manual ESC in there, or the manual ESC, the manual speed controller before ESCs, before they had electronic speed controls. Uh, still has a manual speed controller in here. Original body, original tires, original wheels, blah, blah, blah. Uh, we had this thing running in my garage for a split second uh, just before I had moved. Tire is in real bad shape. As you can see, needs a new set of tires on it. Still has oil-filled shocks in the back. Um, once again, need to get new tires for this vehicle. It's in perfect working order. Just need new tires for it and to update the electronics from the old manual speed controller to a newer style ESC and switching it over to a LiPo battery. So here's our old school speed controller being activated or being moved by a servo. <laughs> the old school method even has a dent in the body here for that servo arm to come out um, as it's moving it from forward to reverse. 
Old school Hornet needs a little attention. Oh, moving on to our next vehicle, everyone. <laughs> this is an old school Tamiya 4x4 stadium truck. Uh, this is my, was my brother's truck. He bought this originally way back in the day and has since given it to his daughter. Uh, so he gave this to her about two years ago. So technically this is, was her first RC car. Um, I did a lot of upgrades to this vehicle last winter. It was still in its stock form. And I did all those upgrades on camera. <laughs> and uh, once again, that was some of the video that was on that SD card that I lost or that SD card that went bad. So I lost 150 hours of video. And this was some of the video. Uh, so since I worked on the truck, everyone, I converted it from the old school uh, nickel metal battery over to a LiPo, put an Axial AE5 ESC in there, still running off the old school Futaba uh, steering servo. We took out the stock 540 motor. We were going to try to make this into somewhat of a crawler, air quotations on that. Put in an RC four-wheel drive, brushed 35 turn motor, uh, swapped out the stock tires and wheels, put on some RC four-wheel drive, uh, 1.55 steel bead locks, wagon wheel bead locks, and mounted some RC four-wheel drive Mud Thrasher 155 tires, which are the stock tires on a Trailfinder 2. Um, also did some sus uh, some suspension modifications to it. <laughs> Not easy to say. Um, custom mounted some shock towers off of an old Traxxas Hawk and adapted them to the back of the stadium truck here and then used some RC four-wheel drive 90 millimeter shocks that I had laying around. Uh, didn't go out and buy these. I just had these shocks laying around, some old shocks off my TF2. That way we could uh, maximize the suspension travel and articulation in this vehicle. The original shocks are these little guys right here. Our original shocks. Not much travel on those little guys. Especially when you compare them to the... Uh, oops, sorry about that everyone. Let's try to get you on an angle that you can see this and try to pick it up at the same time. So, especially when you compare it to these TF2 shocks that are on there. So, uh, definitely a big difference uh, upgrading the shocks on the vehicle. And here are the original tires that came on it. Plastic wheels. Some BFG all trains. Uh, they probably used to be a softer compound at one point in time or another, uh, but they're very old and they're uh, like rock hard right now. So uh, my niece wasn't getting any kind of traction with these tires. Definitely not good off road. So we swapped them out to the RC four wheel drive mud thrashers. Uh, that way she can do a little bit better off road or have more of an advantage off road with those tires. Now we also put those 90 millimeter shocks on the front, use some mechanical or erector set. Made my own custom shock tower up there. Uh, that way we could maximize the front suspension on this vehicle as well. And we also put on some, uh, or I custom fabricated some longer body mounts for it. That way we could give it a body lift to boot. So uh, it has been lifted up slightly. Um, definitely has more suspension travel. Has a body lift to compensate for those tires. So it can clear those tires. Uh, just trying to make it a little bit more off-road friendly. But uh, not finished with this truck. Still playing around with the gearing, uh, trying to lower the gearing a little bit more, uh, trying to slow it down a bit so it'll be a little bit more friendly when we're crawling around off-road. Ah, uh, moving on to our next vehicle, everyone. Original, old-school original Traxxas Sledgehammer. Yes, we still have one, and yes, it does work. It is 100% complete. Original Traxxas Sledgehammer. Uh, this was initially my vehicle. I sold it to my brother a long, 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 long time ago. <laughs> Back when I was a, a young teenager, uh, I had sold this vehicle to him, and he still kept it. So, uh, original sledgehammer, still in perfect working order. Um, sitting on some different tires. These tires were donated to my channel from my friend Matt Roberts at Cryptic Custom RCs. He gave me these tires, and they are just basically sitting on the truck for the moment for uh, prop purposes. But... Uh, here we go, old school tracks of sledgehammer. Uh, it needs a little bit of work. We'll pull the body off and see what she looks like underneath here real quick. All right, just pulled that dusty body off of there. Take a look at our classic tracks of sledgehammer here. Roll bar did not come with this vehicle. I custom mounted this roll bar on here. I can't even remember what this roll bar came off of. It was so long ago, uh, but that was not part of the original vehicle. But this is an original Traxxas sledgehammer body. Looking at our truck. Uh, initially, they had two oil-filled shocks per axle or per wheel, and that was just overkill, everyone. We just took off. It was just too much. Um, we found out that the, the truck actually works a lot better with just one oil-filled shock uh, per wheel versus having two on there. Um, original spring body mounts, spring-mounted body mounts. You don't see those anymore. 
Uh, we've got, uh, what's this, uh, Novak Reactor ESC sitting inside this girl. Uh, Trinity Monster Horsepower motor there. What's that say on that motor, guys and gals? 1985, 1987, <laughs> world something or other. Uh, so that gives you a little bit of an idea on how old this vehicle actually is. Uh, obviously, that's not the original motor, but that has been in here for a very long time. Looking at our receiver, old school Futaba FPR10 or R102 GA or whatever, 75 megahertz. Old school Futaba servo sitting right there. Uh, so this truck definitely needs some attention. It needs to be upgraded uh, and moved into the future. But we still have it, and she is still in 100% working order. Yep, yeah, tracks a sledgehammer. Old school. And here is our next contestant, everyone, the Traxxas General Emax. <laughs> Alrighty, everyone, this is another vehicle uh, that I got from a friend of mine just before I had moved. Uh, same person that I got the WL Toys 10428 Wrangler from. Uh, I had this Traxxas Emax. That was part of the deal when I purchased his RCs just before I moved up here. And this is one of the ones that I got. Hasn't been seen on the channel. It's been seen on the channel uh, back when I lived downstate when it was still my friend's vehicle. Uh, but it hasn't been shown on the channel since it's became mine. I uh, got a General E body sitting on it. Full exo cage on the truck came on the vehicle. I can't take responsibility for anything that's on this vehicle, everyone. This is all the stuff that came on it when I got the truck. So still an original Emax. Little Titan 550 motors on here. Looks like we got a Novak Traxxas EVX 14.4 volt ESC there, model 3014. Uh, once again, haven't seen this truck on the channel. It is in perfect working order. It does work. Everything is perfect on it as far as that goes. Um, but it does have a drive cup back here that is not bent, but just needs to be loosened up and recentered and tightened back down. So only thing that really needs to get fixed on this truck. It's just this little drive cup right here, uh, which just needs to be loosened up and then uh, straightened out and put back in the right position. But the Traxxas Emax, once again, hasn't been seen on the channel basically until today. Yeah, as far as the Emax goes, everyone, we'll probably get this guy out next summer. So this summer, you'll probably be seeing a little bit more of this guy out on the trail. And real quick, before we put away, a little size comparison there between that Emax and that monstrous Trailfinder 2. Just to give you an idea just how big that TF2 is sitting next to that Emax. Pretty big in comparison. <laughs> the Emax is definitely a bigger truck, but that is a monster TF2 by comparison. Moving on to our next vehicle, everyone. Uh, Traxxas Nitro Revo. And this is my vehicle, or was my vehicle. Not my vehicle anymore. It belongs to my brother. Sold this to my brother uh, back in 2005, something like that. I had originally bought it, I want to say, back in 2003. Um, and then sold it to him, but he still has it. This was the original body that it came on the vehicle. Um, haven't ran this vehicle at all on the channel. Truck hasn't even been shown on the channel, so brand new to the channel. We got our Nitro Revo with our little easy start backup motor there, a pony motor on the side. Still runs, everything works on this vehicle currently. Got our cantilever suspension, that same suspension style that uh, Traxxas is kind of chasing after people for. For trying to copy, have our temperature gauge there for the motor, a little fuel tank, muffler, motor, a whole nine yards. Still in perfect working order, everyone. Um, when I first bought this truck, I actually bought a whole bunch of replacement parts for this truck. Uh, new drive shafts and the cantilever arms and uh, a -arm, upper and lower A arms for this thing, and never broke anything on it. It is all completely original, <laughs> original tires and everything. Uh, never had a problem with it, so definitely a rock-solid truck. Uh, once again, hasn't been seen on the channel. Uh, maybe if I get around to getting some nitro fuel and uh, trying to dial it in, we might get this thing out next summer. Who knows? And before we button up the Revo, uh, I know they put out these with a couple different motors in it, but this was the one with the 2.5R, so uh, we got the 2.5R racing engine, whatever that means. <laughs> uh, that is the one that this one came equipped with, so older style Nitro Revo here. Now, before you, there is a body that came on the Revo. I actually showed this on my channel. I painted this back in 2003. 
uh, when I got this truck, I bought the body for it or another body for it, put a custom flip-flop paint job on it, and uh, never put it on the vehicle. So the body is in still in perfect shape. It's a good shelf queen here. Uh, the flip-flop paint job goes from purple to green. You can see a little bit of hints of purple in here. Flip the camera around and it's just going to go all green on you. Uh, you look back that way, you get purple. You look back this way, you get green. Once again, I painted this body way, way back in 2003. Uh, so it's been around for a long, long time. And it is in still, still in great shape. Actually need to go through and uh, remove some of the sticky off the window from the masking tape that was on there. So I never got around to removing that uh, sticky film on the windows there from the masking tape after taping everything off. But she is still in great shape. Like I said, flip-flop paint job goes from purple to green. And there she is. Shelf queen body. Yeah, and you know what? <laughs> I painted that body so long ago that that very well could be the first RC car <laughs> with a flip-flop paint job on it. Uh, I know it was shortly after uh, they came out with that can that paint that you could buy in the spray cans at the uh, auto parts store. So uh, definitely been around for a long, long time. All right, the final vehicle that needs attention. <laughs> Everybody has seen this vehicle before. This is the Arma Nero. Uh, once again, not my vehicle initially. Um, I bought it from a friend of mine who needed needed some money to fix up his real vehicle. Uh, so I had bought the Nero from him just trying to help him out. Uh, initially, this came from a guy named Jim over at uh, Nankin Hobbies in Farmington Hills. Uh, he was the original owner of this vehicle. So a little shout out to Jim out there at Nankin Hobbies in Farmington Hills. His original truck. Um, guys, I, you know, every time I take this truck out, it breaks. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. Every time I take it out, something breaks on this truck. Uh, I ripped the front bumper off at the last time. Uh, let a buddy of mine drive it. He put a, did a couple rolls with it and damaged the body a little bit. And uh, broke some body mounts back here. Or didn't break some body mounts, but tore the Lexan on the body. So need to get a new body for it. Uh, but mainly every time I break it, guys, or every time I drive it, uh, something breaks. Uh, usually right here. These little half shafts or rear drive shafts, I'm constantly breaking these things. Uh, whether I'm breaking them down here at the wheel spindle or I'm breaking them right up there at the differential. So uh, I need to get some heavy duty um, half shafts for this vehicle. Because like I said, every time I take it out, I end up breaking these things. So definitely probably the weakest link on the truck are those little shafts right there. So that's mainly what's holding back the Arma Nero. <laughs> it's definitely, uh, definitely needs some love. You can see that that back bumper has just been completely blown out, uh, pushed right up and out of position right there. Uh, seen a lot of rough times with that. Uh, but nevertheless, like I said, every time I take it out, it breaks, and it's all got to do with these uh, weak half shafts. It's either that or um, the guy that I got the truck from, um, he might have, you know, he might have hooked something up to the ESC and reprogrammed it. Um, it just has way too much punch. Uh, you get to like three-quarter throttle, and you really can't get it past three-quarter throttle. You start giving a little bit of gas, and it's just, it's like my WL Toys hydroplane vehicle. It just flips over instantly. So uh, he might have went into, went into the ESC with a programmer and turned up the punch on it a little bit too much. Uh, not too sure. Uh, but like I said, this vehicle is just out of control. <laughs> and uh, every time I run it, I end up breaking one of these uh, half shafts right here. So... Uh, she is down for the moment and is in need of some repair. And that's pretty much it, everyone. In closing here, we can take a look at all the trucks lined up in a row for a little size comparison between the monsters up there. That Traxxas uh, Nitro Revo, our Traxxas Emax. Those are probably about the same age in all reality. <laughs> our uh, Arma Nero and that Monster Trailfinder 2. Only reason that TF2 is in here is just because it's uh, just because it's so darn big and just kind of you know it's a big truck <laughs> especially when you start comparing it to the eight scale arma nero and these other larger larger vehicles as well yeah looking at them from one side to the other gives you a little better idea of how big that tf2 is by comparison definitely not a small vehicle definitely not a small vehicle especially compared to all those big guys down there and that is pretty much going to do it, everyone. Just want to give you a little show and tell on some of the older vehicles that we have sitting here. Some of those unseen vehicles that just have not been shown on the channel uh, whatsoever as of yet. 
and uh, projects that need to be uh, need to get some attention. <laughs> so that's what we're looking at, everyone. Uh, got a few cars down there on the floor. Our two WL toys, the Nero, the old Roby boat, uh, our Robbie boat, <laughs> our our Nitro Revo down there, our Emax, our uh, Traxxas Sledgehammer, original Sledgehammer, um, all our other vehicles back here, our Tamiya Stadium truck, the Tamiya uh, Midnight Pumpkin sitting down there. Our old Super Hornet that needs to get fixed up. Uh, in all reality, guys, this Hornet right here, I'm going to fix that Hornet up and put new tires and wheels on it, convert it over to LiPo, and I'm probably going to give this vehicle away to some lucky viewer uh, some point down the line. So that Hornet's probably going to be get, getting given away here uh, before too long. But that's going to do it, everyone. Thanks for watching. Very much appreciated. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Once again, looking at all these old school vehicles, and we will see you all on the next video. Thanks again.